morning everyone welcome back again today we're gonna make a, a very hot pepper sauce um, that's gonna be made to last a while it'll last a long time the way we're gonna make it and it's very hot pepper we're using the scotch, the scotch bonnet peppers you can use ghost peppers or whatever pepper you like however this is gonna be very very spicy so if you like it less spicy just switch peppers for that we're gonna need of course, about a, I'm using about a pound and a half of Scotch bonnet, about three full heads of garlic cloves, really good quality garlic cloves, about three tablespoons of kosher salt, two tablespoons of garlic powder, about three tablespoons of dried thyme leaves. I'm gonna use about five very large tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Now you can, I'm gonna use an alcohol for this as well. You can use any alcohol you want, like vodka or gin or whichever one you like, rum, whatever. I'm gonna use Arak. Uh, this is, comes from Lebanon since this is a Lebanese recipe I'm using. About a cup of oil. There's a quarter cup of mustard oil in here and three quarters cup of olive oil. I may need to add a little bit more olive oil to that. I'll see how it goes. Um, and a cup and a quarter of apple cider vinegar um, it has to be good quality vinegar. This is a real one with the mother still in it. And of course, we're gonna clean our scotch bonnet here. Not, I want to leave everything inside. I do want the spiciness. I'm just moving, removing the stem basically. And for this, we're gonna need our trusted food processor. And you have to be careful when you handle this, especially in the food processor also, because it's it's very spicy and it's gonna if you're not careful, it goes everywhere and it's gonna burn your hand. So let's start. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our scotch bonnet peppers in. Let's put it all in there. All of our garlic. Our salt, very important. Our garlic powder and our thyme leaves, and of course, the vinegar. There we go. And now we're just gonna process this. process this very well. I'm just gonna leave it on. It's already in there about 45 seconds and the smell is already very powerful. That should do it. Let's see. It's fantastic. Let's see. Look at that. Yeah, please also, again, I have to stress be careful how you handle this because it is very spicy. Even just the smell of it is very strong. So we're going to dump all this in the bowl here. We don't want to waste any. Sure, you take all that goodness out. Good. Gonna add my mustard. Now this recipe comes 
from my area in, in Lebanon. I'm not sure what the other areas do this from Shabtin, my village. And my cousins showed me this. And it lasts a long time. And they tell me it's medicinal too. Now I'm not sure if I believe that or not, but who knows? It could be. So there's six tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Gonna mix that in. And it's gonna be very, very spicy and salty. So you just need to use a little bit for seasoning. And it's very tasty. As you can see, it's coming together fine. We'll add our oil. Now the oil is for two things. Of course, the most important thing is the flavor. It's going to add that fantastic flavor. It's going to make everything tasty. And it's a preservative as well. I'm going to use my whip here. Yeah, I'm going to use our whip to mix our sauce. Make sure it's all well incorporated. And yes, this is a pepper sauce. Add in our spirit, and this we can add three, four, five ounces. We're not gonna cook this. We're just gonna. I've added about five ounces now. With this, and the longer you let this sit, the better it will be. And you can keep it in the fridge; it's fine. There we go. And the smell is fantastic. Now, why I like this Arak spirit is because of the anise flavor that's in it. It's very strong anise flavor. And that adds an extra dimension to our sauce. And it makes it so delicious. And we're almost done. Now, we just have to make sure it's well, well whisked. It comes together perfectly. And all the mustard is and oil and alcohol and vinegar it's all mixed in properly and that's what it's supposed to look like and the longer it sits the longer the ingredients melt together and it becomes so good already the smell is fantastic and basically that's about it now we just let it sit and we can start using it right away but the longer you let this sit, the better it gets. Can you see? I'm going to take a chance here. And... Hmm. Oh, it is good. It is very, very good. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Salt is perfect. Heat is really good. There's a lot of heat in there. Even that bit I tasted, it's, it's an explosion of heat in your mouth. And good flavor, the pepper, not just heat, has an amazing flavor. And that's it, we just bottle it now. And our pepper sauce is done. Thanks again for watching. Please um, do subscribe and like our videos and our channel. And I'm gonna bottle this and I'll take a shot of it and let you see what it looks like once it's bottled. Here we are. We're gonna put these in our fancy bottles here. We have to be very careful not to waste any. And take our time. They may not all fit in what these bottles are. And then they may. The bottles are not very large, but they're very pretty and perfect for this purpose. Doesn't that look nice? Second. Perfect.
perfect. Right on, look at that. So I'll do one more here so you can see, look at this. And then it closes up like that, like so. You can put a label on it and make it pretty and fancy and that is perfect. We'll just take our time. And this hot sauce, by the way, as I mentioned before, is extremely spicy. I've tasted it and it's delicious. If you like hot sauce, this is the sauce for you. And please don't make a mess like I do. So we got three bottles plus a little over, not enough for quite the fourth bottle. Um, see, I'm gonna try it here with my um, my wife's fried fish here. Let's see. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very very nice. Spicy, and a lot of good flavor. I'm having this with my nice cold beer here. Mm. It goes well together. And of course, my coleslaw with our homemade dressing. You can see the video for that. It's a New Year's Eve dinner video. That's a great dressing as well. This is very nice. Thanks again for watching. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, well, see you soon.